It may come as no surprise to you that Frank Turek thinks that gay sex is a sin. Do you find homosexuality to be a sin? Doesn't matter what I find. O okay, then I mean, what the do Bible, you believe the Bible says? Homosexual behavior is a sin not homosexual feelings. That doesn't sound very biblical to me. Jesus explicitly contradicts the idea that there is a moral difference between committing a sin and wanting to commit a sin. Jesus said that if you so much as feel the urge to commit adultery, you have effectively committed adultery. He said that if you even feel unjustified anger at someone, you are in just as much danger of judgment as if you murdered that person. I don't know where Turek gets the idea that there's a moral distinction between sinful feelings and sinful acts, but it sure as shit doesn't come from Jesus. Because whenever he used the phrase sexual immorality, that meant any sexual activity outside of the marriage of a man and a woman. Fornication, adultery, homosexuality, bestiality, rape, incest, whatever it is. Rape isn't necessarily outside of a marriage between a man and a woman, Frank. And so we all have to hold one another accountable to attractions or to actions that are going to hurt themselves or others. I don't agree that we should hold each other accountable for actions that may harm ourselves. To protect people from themselves is to treat them like children. Also, homosexuality is not inherently harmful to anyone. And we see that. Look, homosexuals didn't, didn't give us really same-sex marriage. You know who did? Heterosexuals through no-fault divorce. That's a bit of a stretch, Frank. No-fault divorce is, is the worst thing that this country ever could have done from, from a marriage perspective because it makes Marriage all about the desires of adults, nothing about children. If marriage had nothing to do with children, then the legal rights and obligations that separated married parents have to their children would be no different from the legal rights and obligations of divorced parents. This is not the case. In some jurisdictions with no-fault divorce, custody battles between parents who are separated but not yet divorced are treated differently from custody battles between parents who are divorced or who have never been married. Well, if marriage isn't about children, why is the government even in it? I suspect that Frank believes that children are better off being raised by married couples than unmarried couples. If he believes that, then why wouldn't he prefer that the many children raised by gay couples be raised by married gay couples rather than unmarried gay couples? I've seen other videos in which Frank says that legalizing gay marriage also sent the message that marriage has nothing to do with children because gay couples can't naturally produce children. However, we allow postmenopausal women to get married. Does that send the message that marriage has nothing to do with children? If an elderly lady's husband dies and she wants to remarry, would Frank say that she shouldn't? Who cares who loves who? Why, why should the government care whether you have a romantic affinity for somebody else? The reason the government's involved in marriage is to perpetuate and stabilize society. That's debatable, but again, if Frank believes that, why would he want to keep gay couples from getting married? If marriage really has a stabilizing effect on society, then men who are not attracted to women and women who are not attracted to men will forever be excluded from that effect. Children raised by gay couples will not benefit from these supposed stabilizing effects. If marriage stabilizes society, why would you want to exclude gay couples and the children they raise from these benefits that you believe marriage confers. I also have a Patreon if you're into that kind of thing.